Hello everybody and welcome back to the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. Me be myself, Connor. Today it's Sunday and we are going to be talking about the Premiership fixtures from over the course of the weekend. The first match that I have bring to you on my points that I've got from the highlights from a couple of matches from over the weekend is we're starting in Paisley. It's at St Murren Park, it's St Murren versus Ross County. Um, the first one was a defensive mistake from Ross County. The ball, it was a defensive mistake from Ross County to start off with at the start of the match. The ball, fro- the ball falls to Jonathan Abika to make it 1-0 to St Murren. Um, a good corner from Ross County. Stuart gets his head to it and it hits off the crossbar. Um, Abika sets up Junior Marias one on one with the goalkeeper. Brilliant save from Ross Ledlaw. Charles Cook crosses the ball, crosses the ball into the box, and a spectacular clearance from Richard Tate from the um, line to make sure that it wasn't a goal. And Jim Goodwin, the St Mirren manager, says it's the best clearance that he's ever seen. Um, A good ball into the box for Richard Tate, but a beaker mi- from Richard Tate, but a beaker misses it. To, could have made it two 0 It just goes wide. Um, good shot from outside the box for Michael Gardine. Good brilliant save from Jack Elmick. Falls to Charles Cook, who just puts it wide. Joe Shaughnessy got a red card. Diabolical challenge, blatant red card, no blames in that, couldn't say nothing, absolute red card. Um, Joe Shaughnessy goes running over for the ball, right into Stewart who plays for Ross County, stud right into the back of his leg, right into there, millimetres for a bit, breaking his leg, fourth official red card, sends him off. Good cross into the box by by former Inverness left back and captain Carl Trimarco. The ball falls to the warhorse, the old man Michael Gardine, and makes it one all and equalises in Paisley for Ross County. Gardine crosses the ball into the box for Billy Mackay, who just puts it wide and no more. That was at the end of the match. The next one we have for you is the Lanarkshire Derby. Motherwell versus Hamilton, academical at Fir Park yesterday. At the start of the game, Mario Agompo almost made it 1 0. Good defending from Declan Gallagher from Motherwell. Very good effort from David Turnbull from outside the box. Brilliant save from Fult- by Fulton, the Hamilton goalkeeper. Good cross by Ricky Lamy, who used to play for Greenock Morton and Livingston last season. He now plays for Motherwell. Good cross by Ricky Lamy into the box, found the head of David Turnbull, who aimed at a goal, but another good save from Fulton, the Hamilton goalkeeper. David Turnbull from almost at the halfway line. Took an absolute spectacular shot and an absolute brilliant save from Fault by Fault and again in the Hamilton goal. Hamilton were, Hamilton were putting pressure on Motherwell throughout that game at Fur Park yesterday. Good corner from Regan Mimmo. Find the head of a dolphin to make it 1 0 to the Arkies. And and last but not least, Motherwell haven't scored in four out of their five games this season. Next one is newly promoted side, Dundee United, live on Sky yesterday against Celtic at Tanadice. Good cross from Dundee United, Julian just gets a 
touch to the ball to prevent the striker from them scoring. That was at the start of the game. Dundee United defence panicked on the ball, fell, the ball fell to Edward, on Edward and Edward on Edward washed it right over the crossbar. Um, Luke Bolton had space and had two players on the left and the right. They had Logan Chalmers on the left, I think it was. Um, but the sky did right over the crossbar by taking a shot himself. Good save from Sigrist, the Dundee United goalkeeper. Throughout the game, he was absolutely tremendous yesterday for Dundee United. If it wasn't for him, Celtic could have scored at least 4 5 yesterday. Ryan Christie took a spectacular shot from outside the box, another brilliant save from um, Seagrist in the Dundee United goal to get a hand to it. Also, Edward was quite poor yesterday, and um, a good shout out to the new four and a half million Alba Albanian striker from who was at West Ham is Ajeti. Brilliant, brilliant signing for Celtic. Came on in the second half yesterday and scored the winner for Celtic at Tanadice. The next one's at Ibrox, my team, the Rangers versus Kilmarnock. Cedric Keaton, the new boy, had a chance to make it 1-0 but blazed it over the bar. Brian Kent took a shot at right goal from outside the box. Brilliant save from Rogers and the command at goal. Um, br brilliant cross from Borna Barisic into the box. Finds Kumar Roof but it hits off the, just hits off the post. Ryan Kent passed the ball to Barisic on the left, crosses it into the box and finds Kemal Roof to make it 1-0 on his Premiership debut. Good effort from Brandon Barker from outside the box and just goes wide. And Tavernier takes a shot saved by Rodgers and come on at goal. Falls to Ryan Kent who takes a shot and makes it 2-0 to Rangers. Also... I heard the rumour that Alfredo Morelos wasn't performing in training all week and exactly what Gerard said, if if he's not going to if he's not going to perform and he's not going to do what, what we want him to do, then he's not going to get started, he's not going to get in the squad, simple as that. There's play, there's strikers that are begging to get in the squad and the likes of Kimar Roof, Eten, um Greg Stewart, etc. And to be honest, I think that it's, I think Alfredo's time's up in Glasgow. I think that we should get the money for him sooner rather than later because he's big, he's obviously not wanting to be at the club anymore. Since he's came back from this from this coronavirus break, he's just not been the same player for the club. And I think he I think he did want to go to um Lille and France. He want that move, but. I don't think it's got. I don't know if, don't know if it's got to happen or not. Um, the next one that is a game today. Aberdeen second game back from after eight of the players breached with the coronavirus COVID nineteen rule. Eight of the eight or nine Aberdeen players went to a pub in Aberdeen city centre and ca caught symptoms of the coronavirus and alongside Celtic, Bally and Golly. And the two teams weren't allowed to play their two games. They've they've now since came back. They won against St Johnston at McDermott Park in midweek one 0 thanks to a goal from Lewis Ferguson. And they faced Livingston today at Petardry in a earlier kick off this afternoon. Robinson had a big chance to score for Livingston at the start of the game. Craig Sibble put a knee into the back of Lewis Ferguson, which conceded a penalty for Aberdeen. Brilliant penalty scored by Lewis Ferguson to make it 1-0 to Aberdeen at Petardry. Good link-up play from Ryan Hedges and Scott Wright. A couple of 1-2s to make it 2-0 to Aberdeen. Um, brilliant save from Robbie McCrory on loan from Rangers. 
to deny Aberdeen and Marley Watkins, Mar Marley Watkins to make it 3-0 to Aberdeen. Good play from Livingston and Scott Pittman to make it 2-1 to the Wither Lions against Aberdeen. And claims from a handball, claims of a handball from Shea Logan on, from Livingston on Shea Logan in the box. And that's it from the Premiership weekend fixtures guys. The Premiership table looks like this. Going into the week ahead. First place Rangers. They've played, f played 5 games, goal difference in 9 and sitting on 13 points. Second is Hibs. Played 5, goal difference is 6 and also sitting on 13 points. Rangers first on goal difference. Third is the team from Dingwall, the Norvis team in Scotland, is Ross County. Ross County have played five goal difference, one and sitting on eight points. Fourth is our rivals, Glasgow Celtic, who have only played three games. They have a goal difference of five and they are sitting on seven points. Fifth place is newly promoted side Dundee United, Mickey Mellon's Tangerines. They're sitting, they've played five games, goal difference is zero and sitting on seven points in fifth place. Sixth is the black and white, the Pandas, the Paisley, Jim Goodwin's side St Mirren. They've only played four games, goal, diff goal difference of minus one and played seven games. Aberdeen sitting seven, played three Goal difference won six points. Eighth, the team from Perth, St Johnston, played five. Goal difference in minus four and four points. Ninth is in Larcher, is Hamilton Academical. They've played four, four games this season. Goal difference in minus five and sitting on three points after the win at Firth Park. Sitting tenth is the other team from Lanarkshire in the Lanarkshire derby, Motherwell. Shout out to Gobsy if you're watching my channel, my man. Gobsy's team sitting on five points, goal difference in minus three and sitting on two points. And it is Alex Dyer's team, the team from Ayrshire from, is Tully Kilmarnock. They're sitting on, they've played five games, goal difference of minus four and sitting on two points. And bot, sitting rock bottom of the league is the team from West Lothian, it is the Livia Lions, Livingston. Gary Holt's side are sitting on minus five, goal difference and sitting on two points. That's the Premiership action over in Dunmouth for the weekend guys and that's the league table how it stands at this present time Rangers Rangers are playing Hamilton away next weekend and also that's on television that's on Sky Sports and also on Sky Sports next weekend is Hibs are at home to Aberdeen at Easter Road that's on Sky Sports as well guys so that's how it goes for the Scottish Premiership weekend. That's it over in Dunmouth. Sports scene replay is on at half past ten. And that's me done, guys, for, for the weekend. I'm going, I will be making a video over the next couple of days, though, for you. Um, and also to tell you that the football training all teams in Scotland start back tomorrow. So whether that Scottish Premiership Championship, League One, League Two, Junior League, Highland League, Lowland League, all teams in Scotland, including the women's, all start back training tomorrow and after the coronavirus and sorry. That's me done guys. If I'll, if there's transfers going on I will do a video tomorrow um based on that. But like as always, as I always say to you guys at the end of my videos, like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, 
me being myself, Connor. This being the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. You being yourselves. And I'm out.